हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल कंटिन्यू विद अ टॉपिक रिटायरमेंट ऑफ अ पार्टनर राइट नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज रिटायरमेंट retirement during the accounting year so far we have been discussing the retirement either the partner was retiring on the last day of the accounting year or was retiring on the first day of the accounting year right so we have the data for the whole of the period that is whole of the accounting period clear but now he says the partner is retiring in between the accounting year when you don't have the complete books of accounts but the partner is retiring and if the partner is retiring you have to make the payments to the partner he deserves share in the profits that have been earned to the date of retirement yes sir isn't it so i can say retiring partner retiring partner deserves share in profits earned till the date office retirement right this means that if your accounting period is starting on say your accounting period is starting on 14 2016 okay and your partner he retires on 30th of june 2016 now you have 3 months april may and june during this 3 months you must have earned some profits definitely right you must have earned some profits during these 3 months so the retiring partner deser deserves the share in these profits for 3 months now the question is how to calculate this profit for 3 months this is the only thing in this topic how to calculate the profits for these 3 months that is for the period from the end of the last accounting period till the date of his retirement clear so how to calculate that for that you will be given the average profits of the past few years how to calculate how to calculate share in profits okay listen to it very carefully this is a very very simple topic nothing to do in this number 1 you will be given profits you will be given profits from last few years right take the average of these profits take average of these profits clear now what does this reflect this reflects that on an average for the last few years on an average we have earned this much profits every year clear this reflects on an average we have earned a certain amount of profits okay so it is assumed that on an average this much profits will be earned this year also 
assume that on an average the profits calculated in step 2 right will be earned this year also clear friends so what you will be given is you will be given the profit trends for the last few years you will take out the average of these profits take the average it gives you the figure that on an average we are earning these much profits during the year it is assumed that on an average these profits will be earned this year also right so if you get the figure you can get you get the profit figure average profit figure for the whole year so you can calculate for three months right you can say average average profits multiplied by number of months to retirement if it is three months three months okay divided by 12 12 is the total number of months in a year right this is what we get the average profits for the three months that is for the period from the start of accounting period till the retirement of partner right then calculate share of calculate share of retiring partner in the profits calculated in step 4 clear friends so very simple first of all you will be given the profits for the last few years take the average of the profits assume that on an average this much profits will be earned this year also so if these are the profits earned during the year you can calculate for the number of months to the retirement how many months right average profits into number of months to retirement divided by 12 so you will get the profits for that period till the date of retirement clear so from that profits you can calculate the share of retiring partner clear clear friends you can note this down these steps are quite important this is a very simple topic now i will tell you how to treat this further you have got the amount how to treat this amount now there are two steps in this two case basically how to treat share of retiring partner right case one case one is if new profit sharing ratio if new profit sharing ratio between the remaining partners if new profit sharing ratio between the remaining partners is equal to old profit sharing ratio right that means we are not given the new profit sharing ratio in that case the new profit sharing ratio between the remaining partners will always be equal to the old profit sharing ratio clear friends in that case 
the journal entry will be profit and loss suspense account debit to retiring partners capital account retiring partners capital account so whatever the amount that is payable to the retiring partner out of the profits that amount will be transferred to the profit and loss suspense account and that will be credited to the retiring partners capital account okay then at the end of accounting period at the end of accounting period profit and loss suspense account will be transferred to profit and loss appropriation account why because ultimately the amount that is payable to the retiring partner it has to be paid by the remaining partners if p and l suspense account is transferred to profit and loss appropriation account it will be transferred on the debit side right and in that case the amount payable to the uh, remaining partners that will be reduced right because ultimately the remaining partners have to bear the amount that is payable to the retiring partner so in case the new profit sharing ratio between the remaining partners is equal to the old profit sharing ratio the amount that is payable to retiring partner will be transferred to profit and loss suspense account and at the end of the accounting period this profit and loss suspense account will be transferred to profit and loss appropriation account clear friends now case 2 case 2 is if new profit sharing ratio is not equal to old profit sharing ratio if we are given that the new profit sharing ratio is something different than the old profit sharing ratio of the remaining partners then how to treat that very simple calculate gaining ratio this you all know how to calculate the gaining ratio right new share minus the old share calculate gaining ratio then pass the journal entry as remaining partners who will pay the amount to the retiring partner obviously the remaining partners are paying so the remaining partners capital accounts will be debited account debit to retiring partners capital account clear in which ratio they will pay him in gaining ratio be careful with this just like we treat goodwill that's how we are going to treat this clear friends so i have told you two cases one where the new profit sharing ratio is equal to the old profit sharing ratio in that case the amount that is payable to the retiring partner that will be transferred to profit and loss suspense account and at the end of the accounting period that profit and loss suspense account that will be transferred to profit and loss appropriation account clear then the second case is where the new profit sharing ratio is not equal to the old profit sharing ratio in that case calculate the gaining ratio and pass the journal entry as remaining partners capital account debit to retiring partners capital account clear simple friends i hope it's clear that in case of retirement during the accounting year we have to calculate the share of the retiring partner till the date of retirement right 
For that, we will be given the profits for the last few years. We'll take the average profits. Then those, we will assume that those average profits we will earn this year also. And on the basis of that, we will calculate the profits for the number of months till the date of retirement. And then we'll calculate the share of the retiring partner. Right friends, so let's do a practical problem on this. See, A, B and C are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. C retires on 30th of June 2016. The balance sheet of the firm, see, the C is retiring in between after 3 months from the beginning of the accounting year. The balance sheet of the firm as at 31st March 2016 as follows. We have the balance sheet of 31st March, but C is retiring on 30th of June 2016. There is a gap of three months. After three months from the start of the accounting year, a partner is retiring from the firm. C. This is the balance sheet. Clear? We have the liabilities, we have the assets. Then it reads, in order to arrive at the balance due to C, it was mutually agreed that land and building be valued at 12 lakh. As soon as you see this, you know you have to prepare the revaluation account. Right? Investments to be valued at 1 lakh. Stock to be taken at 3 lakh. Goodwill be valued at 2 years purchase of the average profits of the past 5 years. 2 years purchase of the average profits of past five years here you see there is a treatment of goodwill adjustment regarding the revaluation re prepare the revaluation re account adjustment regarding the goodwill right then he says the C's share of profits up to the date of retirement that is from 31st of March to 30th of June C's share of profits up to the date of retirement be calculated on the basis of average profits of the preceding three years Goodwill to be calculated for the average profits of past five years, but for the calculation of profits, we will take the preceding three years as given by the question. Then he says, the profits of the preceding five years are as under, right? Then the last point is amount payable to C to be transferred to his loan account carrying interest at the rate of 10% per annum. Clear friends? Now the first step you know is prepare revaluation account. Right? Do all the adjustments first. There are simple adjustments. Goodwill, revaluation, reserves goodwill revaluation reserves always see these three things first is there any revaluation yes prepare the revaluation account are there any reserves appearing in the balance sheet yes distribute among the old partners in old ratio is there any goodwill given calculation of goodwill yes treat that accordingly clear so first step is prepare the revaluation account. Let's do it. So first of all, we will prepare revaluation account, right? debit credit then we have particulars amount particulars and amount right what is the first revaluation he says land and building be valued at 12 lakh what is the current value of land and building 10 lakh there is an upward movement in the value of land and building if the value of an asset is increasing what is to be done? Buy land and building. Simple. 
एसेट टू रिवैल्युएशन टू लाख क्लियर नेक्स्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स टू बी वैल्यूड एट वन लाख करंट इन्वेस्टमेंट वैल्यू इज वन लाख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड देर इज अ फॉल इन द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो इफ देर इज अ फॉल इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एसेट वी विल से टू इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड क्लियर देन नेक्स्ट स्टॉक टू बी टेकन एट थ्री लैक्स वट इज द करंट वैल्यू टू लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो आई कैन से बाय स्टॉक हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इंक्रीज सो यू कैन सी देर इज अ प्रॉफिट ऑन रिवैल्युएशन टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो आई कैन से टू प्रॉफिट transfer to as capital b's capital and c's capital how much is the total profit 2 lakh 25000 in which ratio this profit is to be distributed their old profit sharing ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1 right so this comes to 90000 90,000 and 45,000. Clear? So this comes to 2 lakh 50,000 and 2 lakh 50,000. Clear, friends? So we have done preparation of revaluation account. Clear? Now, the next step. Next step is preparation of partners capital accounts partners capital accounts so let's do it prepare proper formats in the exams okay so the first step we have completed that is the preparation of revaluation account the second we are going to prepare is partners capital accounts right particulars a b c particulars a b and c first step what is the existing capital by balance brought down Six lakh, six lakh, and four lakh. Six lakh, six lakh, and four lakhs. Next, revaluation profit that we have calculated is to be distributed among all the partners. So I can say by revaluation profit, how much? Ninety thousand. Ninety thousand and forty-five thousand. See if there are any reserves appearing in the balance sheet. Yes, sir. There is a general reserve of four lakh appearing in the balance sheet. Now, this general reserve belongs to whom? To the old partners in old ratio. So, distribute general reserve in the ratio of two is to two is to one. This comes to one lakh sixty thousand. One lakh sixty thousand and eighty thousand. Clear. Now, next adjustment. Goodwill. What is the next adjustment? Goodwill. Let's see the calculation of goodwill now. calculation of goodwill what are the average profits for 5 years these are 2 lakh 2 lakh 35000 3 lakh 2 lakh 75000 and 3 lakh 25000 let's write down these are 
टू लैख प्लस टू लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड देन थ्री लैख देन टू लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड देन थ्री लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड यू ऑल नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एवरेज प्रॉफिट्स इज इट divided by 5 clear friends so now what you will do is how much is this this comes to 2 lakh 67000 right now what is the value of goodwill he says the goodwill is to be valued at 2 years purchase Two into two lakh sixty-seven thousand. This comes to rupees five lakh thirty-four thousand. Now, what is the C's share? That is the retiring partners' share one by five. Clear. This comes to rupees. One lakh six thousand eight hundred. Now this goodwill will be paid by A and B. What is the old profit sharing ratio? What is the old profit sharing ratio? Two is to two is to one. Right? A and B are left. New profit sharing is not given. Then what will be the gaining ratio? One is to one. Right? this we started in the very beginning when we calculated the new profit sharing ratio and the gaining ratio right so the gaining ratio will be 1 is to 1 so the journal entry will be as capital account debit b's capital account debit to c's capital account This is one lakh six thousand eight hundred, right? So what is what will be the share? Fifty three thousand four hundred each. Fifty three thousand four hundred and fifty three thousand four hundred. Clear, friends. Now, one last adjustment: profit calculation of. share in profits now see what the question says for this purpose you have to take the profits of the preceding 3 years and not 5 years be very careful he says calculated on the basis of average profits of the preceding 3 years 3 years means 16 15 and 14 3 lakh 2 lakh 75000 and 3 lakh 25000 right so we can say average profits for 3 years how much 3 lakh plus 2 lakh 75000 plus 3 lakh 25000 divided by 3 this comes to Three lakh. Now, assume that these profits will be earned. These profits will be earned during this year also. Clear? We will assume that this much profits, three lakh profits, will be earned during this year also. So we can say profits till retirement. How many months are there? till the retirement 3 months april may and june because he is retiring on 30th of june so we'll calculate the profits for 3 months 3 divided by 12 this comes to rupees 75000 clear now out of this profits what is the c's share Seventy-five thousand multiplied by one by 
five. This comes to rupees fifteen thousand. So can you tell me the journal entry for this? You are given the old profit sharing ratio. You are not given the new profit sharing ratio. Can you tell me the journal entry? Very simple. Two cases. Case one or case two? Case one. Because we are not given the new profit sharing ratio, friends. In this case, the old profit sharing ratio will be equal to the new profit sharing ratio. So, we will transfer this amount of fifteen thousand to profit and loss, suspense, account debit, to seize capital account. How much? Fifteen thousand and. Fifteen thousand. Clear, friends. So now we can move to our capital accounts. Here we can say first for the goodwill, I will say by A's capital account and by B's capital account. This comes to fifty three thousand four hundred. And fifty-three thousand four hundred. Clear. Then we have profit and loss suspense account. Share of profit. Profit and loss suspense account. This amounts to fifteen thousand. Here I will say to seize capital goodwill fifty-three thousand four hundred and. Fifty-three thousand four hundred. Anything else? So first of all, we'll do the balance. Carry it down for A and B. This total is eight lakh fifty thousand, and this total is eight lakh fifty thousand again. So what are the balance? Seven lakh ninety-six thousand. Six hundred seven lakh ninety six thousand six hundred. Now for C, he says the C's amount, the amount payable to the retiring partner is transferred to his loan account. So I can say to C's loan account as six lakh forty six thousand eight hundred. So this total is six lakh forty six thousand eight hundred. This total is six lakh forty six thousand eight hundred. Clear. This comes to eight lakh fifty thousand and eight lakh fifty thousand. Clear, friends. Treatment of goodwill revaluation and the reserves. You all know. Just one more adjustment is added. That is the calculation of the profit, the share of profit of the. Retiring partner when the retirement is during the accounting year. This is one more adjustment, and remember the two cases. Be very clear about this. You must remember the two cases. Case one and case two. New profit sharing ratio is equal to old profit sharing ratio. Then the amount will be transferred to the suspense account, and that suspense account at the end of accounting period will be transferred to. The profit and loss appropriation account, clear. And in case the new profit sharing ratio is not equal to the old profit sharing ratio, in this in that case we will calculate the gaining ratio, and then the remaining partners will pay the amount to the retiring partner in the gaining ratio, clear. Then we are going to prepare the balance sheet. So let's prepare the balance sheet. Very simple. If you know the logics, you can prepare the balance sheet now. I have given you all the material for the balance sheet. Let's do it. Liabilities, amount, assets, and amount. First thing, land and building revalued at twelve lakh. So you will say, land and building. 
this will appear at 12 lakh next investments 1 lakh 25 thousand revalued at 1 lakh now so we have investments of 1 lakh stock 2 lakh 50 thousand revalued at 3 lakh so it will appear as such sorry stock will appear at 3 lakh sorry okay sundry debtors any treatment regarding sundry debtors no this will appear as such cash in hand it will appear as such cash at bank it will appear as such right so i will say first of all i will say debtors debtors of 4 lakh then cash at bank this will also appear as such as 2 lakh 25000 and cash in hand as 1 lakh anything else that will appear in the balance sheet on the asset side am i leaving anything you will say no sir you have covered everything but no my friend i have left a thing here what you will show here is the profit and loss suspense account 15000 right deferred revenue expenditure profit and loss suspense account this will appear on the asset side of the balance sheet now on the liability side capital accounts who are the remaining partners a and b what are the capitals 7 lakh 96600 7 lakh 96600 this is 600 okay so the total capital is 15 lakh 93200 clear then we have c's loan c's loan is 6 lakh 46800 you can see here c's loan these are the balances c's loan then what is there on the liability side we have taken the capitals general reserve we have distributed among the partners is there any change in the sundry creditors no sir they will appear as it is so i will write sundry creditors of one lakh this is your balance sheet this comes to 23 lakh 40 thousand and 23 lakh 40,000 clear friends so this is how you are going to treat if the retirement is during the accounting period very simple just one more adjustment is added that is the calculation of share in the profits till the date of retirement for that you will be given the average profits take the average of that then calculate for the number of months till the retirement and calculate the share of retiring partner i hope it is clear to all of you right so you can write this down now we are nearing the end of this chapter that is retirement we'll be just doing one or two lectures more for this and then we will start with another chapter that is dissolution of firm we are nearing the end now okay so you can write this down friends if you have any queries anytime right you can always email me at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com i will positively reply to your queries right so in the next lecture In the next lecture we are going to start a new topic that is death of a partner 
so far we have been saying retirement retirement and retirement now under the retirement only under this chapter only we are going to cover a new topic that is death of a partner which is 95 percent similar to what you have studied in the retirement so please go through the retirement lectures first then death of a partner is very 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 easy it is i will say not 95 percent even 99 percent similar to what we have done in the retirement of a partner right i will just quickly brush it up that what is to be done in case the partner dies during the partnership clear friends so in the next lecture we'll start with the topic of death of a partner so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much